Hey everybody, welcome. In this episode, we're going to learn how to set up a Minecraft server that runs 24-7. And there's a few different ways you could do this. You could try to self-host it on your own computer, which I've actually done with Minecraft Classic. It was quite the learning experience, and this is actually what got me interested in computers in the first place. I didn't know what I was doing, so I got a book on like web servers and web development, and that's where I started to learn to code. But this that was like 10 years ago and totally off topic the point of this video is that you can go that route but it can be pretty difficult and then you have to have your computer running all the time and deal with security issues and all that junk the other option would be to find a a hosting service which typically costs money previous episode we talked about a free one but it wasn't really the most reliable or a server that was up 24 7 so that's what we're going to talk about in this video and we're going to use a host known as hostinger they're not the sponsor of this video although they have sponsored other videos on my channel for full disclosure so i do have a coupon code that you can use which would basically let them know that you know i'm sending some people their way if you do decide to go for one of these servers also it bothers me like how this isn't balanced let me just fix that <laughs> that's kind of weird to see so you can visit hostinger.com slash caleb curry and then from here under hosting you can go to minecraft hosting and then you will choose your hosting plan now what service plan do you need um i would honestly start with one of the lower tiers you know either this plan or the most popular plan here. You can go higher if it has some need that you feel is necessary, but in the majority of cases, you're probably not going to be needing to spend $80 a month for a Minecraft server. I mean, unless you're like really serious about Minecraft, but we're gonna go with just one of these more affordable plans. So go ahead and we'll just select one of these. And you have the option to choose, you know, how long you want to purchase this for and you can use the coupon code Caleb Curry at checkout. When you finish your purchase and log in, it's going to look like this, where you have some generated name referring to your server. Mine is Instinctive Sheep, which you can click Manage, and you're gonna get a bunch of information here, and you can scroll down in this Notes section to actually get your username and password, which will, you will use right here for login details, login URL, click that, and you will use that username and password here to get to the management dashboard. So let's go ahead and log in. Now when you do this, here's where your Minecraft server instances are going to show up. So we'll go ahead and create an instance and you can choose actually from a lot of different things here. So lots of different games. Uh, why don't you guys drop in the comment section if you couldn't choose Minecraft out of this list, what would you choose? All right, so let's go with Minecraft Java Edition. You can set a friendly name for your use, and we'll just go ahead and create instance. All right, and it shows up here. So we can go into this, and then we're going to go into manage. Now from here, there's a lot of different options over here on the side. So for example, you can select configuration, and you got stuff like gameplay and difficulty, Java and memory, and all kinds of other stuff. So here's where you can set your game mode and all kinds of other settings. Now I did just wanna call out if you are at your instances and you click configuration, well, you don't see those same options. So if you're looking here like, ah, oh, I don't see it. Well, you just need to go in to one of your instances to get the settings for that specific instance. Next thing I wanted to mention is the file manager. If you need to drop specific mods or other files in here, here's how you do it. Now you can do this two ways. So I did it the hard way the first time I was transferring files because I didn't see any option to like upload files. I was like, oh, geez, I got to do this the hard way. So you can click this and you can get your FTP information. So if you use a file transfer protocol client, basically what you're going to use is this host and you're going to paste that right after SFTP colon slash slash, then that IP address, going to use your username, and your password, the same one used to get into the instance manager, the AMP software, as well as this port. And then you should be able to connect. Once you connect, you'll have these files here and you can transfer between the two. So that's pretty easy if you gotta do a lot of file transferring. The other option though, of course, you know, never would have thought of it, is just to drag and drop files. So whatever the file might be, you can just drag and drop and it'll ask if you want to upload it. So that's the easy way to do it. 
but we're not going to worry too much about files. I just want to get the basics of getting a server running. And now that you know the basics, I'm going to show you how to connect. So we'll go to instances and you have this IP address here so you can copy that. And then we're going to launch Minecraft. From here, we'll just hit play. Once Minecraft launches, you can select multiplayer. You can add a server in here and give it some classy name. And then paste that address here and that'll be added to your list. And it says can't connect to server. Well, you have to start it on the website. So it does say running here, but we actually have to go into this instance and start it. So you can hit start here and you can check, yeah, accept, go into the console and you can watch what's happening. We'll just try again. There we go. All right, and it looks like it's finally done. So we should be able to go over here. And when we do a refresh, you can see it's now online. So we look good, we'll log in. And there we go, we are now in the server. And the server will run 24 seven. I mean, that's what you're paying for essentially. So hopefully that was a good introduction to get you a server running 24 seven. Next thing you might want to learn is how to get mods installed on this. Hostinger has some guides out there and we might do some videos on the topic as we go. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.